Hello, welcome back to the Spirit of Watercolor with Linda again. And oh, we just finished our our painting um, abstract landscape number two of the theme we were doing. And uh, this was inspired by the book Watercolor Bold and Free, as you know, and that's by Lawrence Goldsmith. And I really enjoyed it. Oh, I added a little orange down in there just to brighten it up. I might actually have to bring a little of that orange back over to the other side. I'm still working on finishing that, but it was sure fun and it's still bold and free and loose and fresh. So that was the hope um, and it was all inspired by Lawrence Goldsmith. And I wanted to talk, this is the inspiration video I've been promising, okay, on how I got so inspired. So I, I found that book in my library on my bookshelf and I keep a library. And that's something you might want to think about too, is have yeah, find a bookshelf somewhere and set it somewhere in your home where it's just all about your art and your art inspirations. I think it's what really keeps me going, one of the things, right? And then um, collect books, you know, when you just, you, you know inside you can't live without it. It just really, and uh, when I started to realize that some of the paintings in that book, the Bold and Free book, were by Goldsmith, I started to look into him, into his work, because those are the ones that I was drawn to were the paintings that he had done himself for those exercises. Well, they were used in the exercises. And um, so I found um, this book and I ordered it from Amazon. My little bookmark is in there. But anyway, um, this is uh, by Carl Little, but he does biographies of artists. And he did this one about Lawrence Goldsmith. And um, it's it's a wonderful book. You know, it's called Lawrence Goldsmith, Smith, A Life in Watercolor. It's got a very interesting cover. It's pretty hard to miss that cover, one of his paintings, and are part of it. And um, the book starts with um, just talking, uh, and some of it's written by Goldsmith too, a little bit, you know, um, uh, acknowledgments and just some talk a little bit. But it's mostly written by Carl Little, who talks about this colony of artists that lived on Monhagen Island. Um, and this has been going on for, I guess, a century. Uh, the artists would go there. This little island is just so beautiful. It's rocky, and the trails take you down and around and in toward the ocean. And then you have come across this beautiful view of the ocean, all the way around the island, you know, all the way around the island. And um, it's been a, an inspirational place for so many, including some famous artists. Stephen Winslow Homer was there. Um, and uh, anyway, so this talks a little about. Uh, in the beginning, there's not a whole lot written, but you know, it talks about Carl Little and his his um, his uh, studying at Yale to begin with, and then he went from Yale over to um, uh, oh, he got you know he learned he was educated in the art school there, and then he he also learned about the Impressionists, and I guess you know was very inspired by their different, more modern technique, contemporary, you know, you know, the different things they did, you know, which were impressionistic, they weren't realistic, you know. And then, of course, he goes to this island eventually, and um, of course he's also inspired by other artists in his school of study, and then uh, goes to that island and, um, and paints there for many years in the summers. He didn't stay there all year round. Um, but apparently he kept going back because he would get so much out of it. Now his paintings, albeit they are so, you know, abstract and you don't always know exactly what some of these are. I mean, you can kind of tell. You know, it could be the essence of trees or sky or water. Uh, and some are more distinctly, you know, you can tell that they're the landscape. You know, it's moving, pushing between realism and abstract to non-representational almost at times. Uh, and so, but the colors, you know, it must, it could have been the island, I don't know, but the colors are just so vibrant and maybe that's what he got inspired, you know, seeing those beautiful things on the island, right? So this is what I wanted to talk about today is he's really uh, gotten my passions relit, okay? So I, I just find that... Um, the way he does things, you know, and there is sometimes line work. He might have done masking fluid. I'm not sure. It looks like he might have, and I don't know if they had. 
Well, he was painting in the 60s, 70s, so, I mean, he painted, he was born in 2016, he lived to 2004, and he was apparently still working and painting um, into his late years, painting more from memory because he didn't travel so much anymore. Um, but he uh, was in this artist exhibit that they had, and by the way, there's a, 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 an artist um, uh, gallery of um, in, in Monhagen area there. And uh, they have all of these different artists displayed there of their work and how they were influenced by that beautiful island. Um, and he, anyway, um, he, uh, they made this book, actually was about to be published, you know, in 2004, it was being worked on, you know, before that in 2003. And when it was about to be out for print, he actually passed away just weeks before this book was printed and put out. So, you know, it's, it, it feels like, I don't know, I feel like I've gotten to know someone that I never even knew before. And, um, but his life was just living as an artist, which is very inspiring. Um, I think for all of us artists, it takes a certain will to keep, uh, keep creating, keep painting. So that's part of, a big part of why I do this video is to remind myself as well as many of you out there that um, our creating is very important for our spirit and it's a way for us to connect with nature because you can see obviously here how the connection inspires and then comes back into our work but then we also bring that back out into the world our impression our expression comes back out into the work we do and that can um, give back to people who observe it and look at it so so it's all important and more important than I ever realized and I hope that you will uh, find uh, the motivation and inspiration um, as well. So I do um, recommend this book. Um, again, it's um, uh, Lawrence <clears throat> Goldsmith, A Life in Watercolor. And uh, I got it for $11 on Amazon. I suppose you could buy it a lot of other places as well. It seems to be out there available. Uh, and the Bold and Free book was still pretty available too. So if you're interested in those, you know, you can certainly acquire them as well. And um, I'm going to look into other artists because apparently he knew some other artists that they name in here is very prominent. Some of them I'm not aware of either. And I want to look up and find out what they painted as well. And uh, then there's artists of the past we can look at and talk about as well. Many people know about Turner. I think he just had a, they did an exhibit of Turner's not that long ago. Um, I'm not sure if it was in the last time there it was, but I'll have to check into that. But of course, I have books on my bookshelf about Winslow Homer, Degas, Monet, some of the impressionists there. And, you know, there's just so many out there that, um, like I do dancers, and so I was really digging into what Degas did there for a while. I'll show you some of my dancer movies in the future, and I'll maybe even do one with you. We could, we could work on one together. They're very loose, and the paints are flowing, and the atmosphere behind them, and the colors. And it's just the way I love to do it. And I um, still want to have the essence of the dance and the motion for me in them. You know, not just a pose, but you know, in movement. So that's my way. But what what might that do for you? And it may not be a, a, a human. It might be an animal. You know, but. You know, we can influence each other as well. So, so I want to thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it will inspire you to keep going and find your own inspirations and um, we can inspire each other too. So if you like this video, please click on the like and subscribe and let's continue on. We're going to move into some more paintings. Um, let me know in your comments, uh, you know, if there's something in particular you'd like to see me do. Otherwise, I'll just move into one of these topics that I've talked about. I do have more flowers to do too, but I want to do some bold and free and loose ones as well because I was getting a little tight on the flowers I did before and I'd like to kind of do it more in my own style, which is, I think, why I like this fella, Mr. Goldsmith, because, you know, he's kind of like me. I like, I like a lot of color and I like a lot of fresh and I like a lot of loose. <laughs> And, uh, and we can still work the details too. I have a book on my shelf about that too. So come on back. There's more to come. I'll see you real soon. Keep coming back and have a most wonderful day.